Intelligence In September 2006, Chemical and Engineering News quoted NASNRC panel member Robert L. Isaacson, Emeritus Psychology Professor at the State University of New York, Binghamton. According to this article, Generally, fluoride impairs the brain's ability to perform signaling functions, with the consequence that messages that are passed along the many pathways are likely to be incomplete or wrong. One way fluoride interferes is by disrupting the creation and breakdown of neurofilaments in the axons of neurons. Fluoride also interferes with both primary and secondary signaling in the nervous system. Fluoride may also increase the number of plaques and tangles in the brains of adults, which could contribute to dementia. In several studies using rats, chronic exposure to sodium fluoride or aluminum fluoride in drinking water led to plaques and tangles in the rats' brains that are similar to the abnormalities found in Alzheimer's patients. Furthermore, it appears very likely that exposure to fluoride in the womb and throughout early life lowers intelligence. Epidemiological studies suggest that fluoridation of drinking water decreases the number of children at the very bright end of the IQ spectrum and increases the number in the low IQ region.